Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and this reading will be for Thursday, April 29th, and I'm using uh, Jamie Sawyer's Tarot. It's available on Etsy if you're interested. Okay, so three cards for the day, but also to something to help heal our souls. And I'm going to layer it with her uh, later Mon deck as well. So we have the Two of Swords reversed. The Star card reversed. That's interesting. Okay, and... The Two of Wands reversed. Okay, let's see what added message. Let's see how the Lunar Monk can help as well. And again, this one's um, Jamie Sawyer's. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to better do it this way. I keep having trouble with the edges when I'm up uploading that comes out differently. So I don't know what's going on with my camera. Maybe it's a little crooked. Let's see. Technical difficulties here. <laughs> okay. So, what else? So we have the sun. Sun with the clouds. <laughs> it's exactly the kind of day I'm having here. It's gorgeous, though. It's um, clear, really bright, beautiful blue skies, and then a lot of, like, puffy white clouds. I love those kind of days where there's lots of contrast in the sky. Okay, so the lilies in the heart. And I'm going to do th three more here. The garden. The ring. And the stork. Okay. So, with our theme being the, the star card, we're in that realm of um, having faith in what we've put out into the universe. You know, I have to remember that um, the universe is bound by law to receive us, and we need to have faith in that. And when things don't go right, that does, you know, when, when things aren't coming back to you the way that you think they should, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Our, our task, really, our sole task in each lifetime is to accept that life on earth is dualistic and it's imperfect. And there's nothing inherently wrong with us when things don't go our way. But then other times it's a wonderful uh, way to understand what we're truly believing deep down inside, like if we, if, if we have a belief and it's unconscious that uh, the universe doesn't support us, um, you know, a false belief that it's not possible to be happy here and um, we wish we weren't here on earth and we darn well don't want to have to come back and do another lifetime here, like those, those types of um, issues that come up naturally within all of us humans. I can't tell you how many times I have, you know, used to feel like that all the time. But then I realized, no, wait, that's, <laughs> that's probably the surest way to, you know, when you have a forcing current, a demand on the universe for things to be a certain way, you're definitely going to draw in the, the exact opposite of that. <laughs> that's just how it works. Um, so, the star card reversed. We just, we really have to be careful about losing our direction and most of all losing hope and not rejecting ourselves, even though we might be sometimes going through a little bit of sadness. Um, it only turns to deep, deep depression when we deny it. So let yourself feel sad when sadness comes up. You know, let it. Let it come through, and, and it, it, it will heal you. And then sometimes this can be a card when we're going through a temporary illness as well, because it, it's very much affected by um, 
the life force of the universe is also the life force within us. And we, we do have the sun card here, and that can sometimes relate to our vitality. And with the clouds also, a little bit of, you know, a, kind of a damper upon our sunny disposition and our life force. So it, we can have days like this where we don't really feel like being with the garden card here. We, we might not really feel the garden and the clouds combined. It can be sometimes that it's just the weather like I'm having today. It's sunny and cloudy and it's beautiful outside. That can be the meaning of this card together. If there's any... Uh, different type of a message which we could get because we do have a lot of reversals here with the tarot. Um, the the message with uh, the star reversed here would be to don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Keep your faith focused in, you know, just sometimes it's just a cloudy day, you know, and it, it will shift. And Maybe it would help to get outside in nature because that's a definite way to shift your perspective in life is to get outside and, and feel, you know, the beauty of nature, to just to be with it. But when we go through our sadness, though, then um, then we can, you know, we can feel our, our justified hope and our, you know, our faith. If we go through feeling hopeless... For a while, we'll, we will find, you know, our, our real hope. Because you can't sit in that for too long, especially when you know that it's not the truth. So if we commit with the ring card here, the message is to commit to just commit to opening up to the laws of the universe, the, the spiritual wisdom of the universe to guide you. Let that be like your navigating star. And see how you can turn it around. Because what's coming down the line is wisdom. The lilies is all about wisdom. Wisdom and peace and pleasure. It's, it's such a card of pleasure. And pleasure of the heart. Pleasure because you're caring for yourself in a whole new way. And these cloudy days are just temporary. Now, oh, and with the stork here, knowing that it will change. So know deep down in your heart, have the wisdom to know that any, any cloudy disposition can, can change quickly. Can really change quickly. So now let's look at the, the Two of Swords reversed. Well, that's in that realm where you're feeling a little, maybe a little detached and confused. And that's further reiterated here with the clouds because the cloud, clouds card is a, is a confusing, foggy, you know. Um, so maybe what's coming up from inside is the sun, which represents, you know, revealing something. We're re What's coming up to be revealed from within is a place that we're working to heal, which um, which can clear out the confusion. And maybe the confusion came up because maybe it's up for healing now because it happened when we were little and we had to numb out against, uh, in order to survive, you know, we had to numb out when our real needs weren't met. So remember, the, the unmet real needs in childhood, they, they cause us to numb out in order to survive because we have to attach our life force to our caretakers. And if they're not happy, if they're cloudy, and they're gloomy and doubtful, we're going to pick up on that, and we're going to magnetize that into our soul substance. Those feelings get magnetized into our soul substance. And then as adults, we have to clear all that out. We have to clear it out, but we have to we have to examine it first and go, wait, is this true or not? I mean, it, this doesn't feel right to me anymore. Yeah, my mom was like that, but it doesn't seem like it's the right way to be. And then you ask. You know, you ask your higher self to guide you. You ask your friends. You know, you, you look at other people in life who are happy, and we all have our bad days, so, you know... <laughs> If we're all looking for the bad and the negative in life, we, we certainly can find it. <laughs> That's for sure. So, but 
to have have faith means that we do have to go through these places because we have to work through them. So to turn the two of swords upright, we can decide. Decide that we want the truth. And then the two of wands reversed, that's normally a card of being afraid of change. And we have that further reiterated here with the stork because that card is all about change. But it's all about, you know, improvements too, good changes, especially when it's combined with these cards. These cards are excellent. The lilies, the ring, the heart are some of the best cards in the deck. Now, so the, ch the change here is to move towards love and commit to love. Have the wisdom inside of you. Tap into your inner wisdom. We all have wisdom. Tap into your inner wisdom to commit to love. And this two of wands can turn around quickly and not be so frightening. Uh, because, you know, when it's, when it's reversed, sometimes we feel like we just don't have that many options. But I, I feel like today it's more about, the, with this in the scope of this reading, it's more about the fear of change. But if we follow what we love in our heart and in our hearts, you know, and we commit to love, the wisdom will come through. The wisdom will eventually be revealed. Yeah, I think that's all I have. Yeah, it's just have faith in yourself. So the summary would be to have have faith in yourself, commit to love. Even in those moments when you can't feel your love, just open to, just say to the universe, or say to God, say to your guides, your guardian angels, whatever, you, whoever, whomever in the highest realms of love that you want to reach out to, just ask them to help you feel the love. Because that's always the way to go. So, okay, well, that's all I have for today, you guys. Take good care. Bye.